Hey guys, I'm Chef Michael Simon, and this summer I am partnering with Bank of America to celebrate the All-American Cookout. We have been asking everyone to use the hashtag 123BBQ to share pictures on social media of everything they have been barbecuing and grilling this summer. And you have inspired me to share some of my favorite recipes for your summer cookouts. Now, according to a recent Bank of America survey, 45% of Americans say hamburgers are the most popular entree on their menu when hosting the big summer cookout. Now, I suggest you mix it up a little bit and a great way to do that is chicken. So today, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite, grilled chicken thighs with lemon and a little bit of oregano. Now, thighs are great because they're inexpensive and they pack a punch when it comes to flavor. I like using bone-in, skin-on thighs. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make this little spice mix. So kosher salt, brown sugar, a little bit of cayenne, and some smoked paprika, which gives you that great smoky flavor that I think people really think about when they think of barbecue. Just take your whisk, break it up, and mix it all together. I take my chicken thighs in a bag. You put the spice mix in, you seal it up, and you just rub these spices right into your chicken and in the fridge this goes. I like to do it overnight if I can. It really allows the flavors to get in there. Now before you're ready to cook, you take the bag out of the fridge and you let it come to room temperature for about 30 minutes. I have my grill, I set it up about 10 minutes ago to high, put the lid down to really let it get ripping. We're just gonna pop that open and take our chicken thighs, skin side down to start, and place them right on the grill and let those start to char up. Lid goes down to really ensure that there's no flame ups and to start that chicken cooking through. Now, I love putting citrus on the grill, whether it's lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit. You put them on the grill and what happens is when these lemons start to char, their natural sugars come out and they get really sweet and delicious and it's like, it kind of bumps up the flavor of the lemon, it intensifies it. We've had the thighs going now for about two minutes just to really get that nice char on the skin. And once I get these lemons loaded up, I'm gonna flip the chicken so we can continue to cook them. See that nice hot grill, great char. We don't have to worry about sticking that way because our grill was hot. We waited long enough so the chicken got that nice caramelization on it, which is why it's flipping so easily. Lid goes down. Now you can see here's some that I finished up. It's been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes total. I'm gonna take those lemons that we grilled and look at how much juice they release because they're off that hot grill and they have this tremendous amount of sweetness to them. And then I just take a little bit of fresh oregano. It's simple, it's delicious, it's inexpensive, and it's really light. And I think all those things are important for the summertime. More than half of Americans find sticking to a budget the absolutely hardest part about hosting the perfect cookout. But it doesn't have to be that hard, guys. There are a lot of things that you can do to save money as you barbecue this summer. Now, to make your budget go even further, consider using a rewards credit card. For example, with the Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards Credit Card, you earn 2% cash back at grocery stores, 3% back on gas for all those errands, and 1% back on everything else. BBQ Dry Rubs gave us a glimpse of how he prepares his chicken while Cravings Lunatic showed us her skills making finger-licking brick chicken. Show us how you grill chicken by using hashtag 123BBQ and have the chance for your picture to be featured on SeriousEats.com. For more information and to see some of the amazing pictures people have been sharing, check out SeriousEats.com slash 123BBQ.